Okay, I'm on Highway 4 now, and normally, I think during the daytime, this would be a nice drive. It's slow, it's 30 miles an hour because there's construction, and I just went up to 40, and good thing because I'm speeding. Um, it, this sucks <laughs> at night. Uh, my, my vision is not the greatest, and it's twilight, and it is just freaking hard to see anything out here. It's unreal. Everything is dark, and no contrast. My eyes are burned out from the day. Ay, ay, ay. Beautiful clear sky, though. Too bad you guys can't uh, see where I'm seeing uh, in that camera lens. Get the moon up there. Perfectly clear sky. And, uh, yeah, I have no idea how many miles of this I've got, but i got animal warning signs, twisty roads, dark, unfamiliar territory. This is what I don't like doing on a motorcycle at night. I don't like it. I try to avoid this, but, you know, it is what it is. This is the route that I had to take to get to the end today, and then I'm going to try it. So hopefully I can clear the road for this guy at some point, because he's going to be stuck going my speed, not the other way around. My face shield is dirty, so, you know, that helps absolutely nothing right now. Every time a car comes by, it's just glare. Can't see you squat. would open my visor, but there's a lot of bugs out this time of night. I'm just bound to get a bug strike in the eyeball. That's not good. I'll bet this is beautiful out here during the day. You will see a thing. Anyway, I'm going to focus on the road. Wish me luck. And no deer. No deer. All right, I just ran out of gas on Highway 4. It's been flashing for a good long time, and I'm climbing some of these hills, and it was going, uh, 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 uh. I'm hoping it's gas and not the variator. <laughs> um, I need to see what I'm doing. I hope I can find my uh, headlamp. Yep, right where I put it. Oh, there it is. Should be right here on this corner, I think. I hope. Please. Please say yes. Please say yes. Uh, you guys probably can't see diddly squat. Neither can I. All right. I'll do the next best thing. Turn the phone. If I can unlock the phone. It's cold out here, man. <laughs> Need to put on the jacket. We're going to do flashy lighty. It's upside down. There it is. Hey! There's my uh, dash light. <laughs> ah... I'm going to retard. What am I doing out here, man? What am I doing out here? This is a short bus kind of special here. got to pop that loose. i got to pop this open. Then i got to turn this right the hell back on. So people see me and don't kill me on the side of the road. Turn that. I don't know if you guys are seeing anything. I can barely see anything. Ah. Oh, you bitch. Stay open. Don't fight me. Not tonight. I've had enough. I need something to go right. <laughs> These things are mutually exclusive to each other. They don't want to let one in. Ah, oh, the smell of petrol and crisp mountain air.
won a good long time on that tank. Uh, 110 plus miles to the gallon. A couple hundred miles on there. Even with the belt freaking out. Glugga lugga, it's thirsty. Come on. Right there. I stopped it before it burped everywhere. And that is two gallons and change. Man, how is it possible? I thought I had this thing full. And I don't know if you guys can see, the level is like right there. <laughs> that tank was dry. I made a mess over here. It was spilling as I was pouring. It leaks out of this no spill can. So they say no spill, but it ain't no leak. Leaks out of the neck, you can see all over the place here. And I've got that thing cinched down tight. It leaks everywhere. No spill. Deceptive marketing. Okay, yeah, and it's getting stinky. I'm going to take the opportunity to water the bushes here. I'll edit this part out, of course. A few moments later. Alright, what do we got? I think this is a picture worthy moment. Oh, in the middle of the dark. On the mountain. God only knows what's going on here. Okay. Get out of the road here until this guy goes by. <sighs> this has been a day. Definitely want to remember. And preferably not repeat. Alright. If the belt breaks in here, I'm going to be more than just a tiny bit pissed off. Uh, I can't go uphill and get that off the stand, so let's try this. Oh yeah, she's heavy uphill. And this is really, really uphill. Uh, it's probably about a 10% grade here. It's going to be fun getting started. 111.1 was my fuel economy uh, on that tank. And let's see how many miles. 220 miles. Yeah, so I was getting 110 per tank at 2.1 2 gallons. And the tank was dry. Dry, dry. Climb, 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 climb. Oh, chug it lugger. Don't bust a belt. I guess I could have pulled further up, but I didn't know what that looked like. Oh well. I was in a good spot. Got it done. Roadside uh, fuel refuel in the dark on the mountain. In the cold. Can't see squat. It's cold, man. I mean, I'm surprised. It's really cold. As soon as the sun went down, man, the temperature dropped 20 plus degrees. It's probably maybe mid-50s right now, about 53, 54. Could be, uh, could be colder. It's chilly. Anyway, I'm gonna save what's left of this battery in the camera, so uh, welcome to my nightmare. Wish me luck. This is a 55 mile an hour road, climbing, climbing, climbing straight up to the heavens here. We're already at 8,070 feet, uh, almost 8,100 feet. That's the highest point of our trip so far, I think. Goodness, and we might have been up higher in some of the mountains way back. I didn't notice, but I thought the highest I saw was 7,600 or something. But yeah, here we are, uh, 8,100 feet and still climbing. Yeah, keep going. I'm going to need an oxygen mask soon. I don't even know where I am on a map. I, I, I can't visualize it in my brain other than the uh, 
the stencil overlay here I have in front of me, but that doesn't tell me where I am. It's just a, a route line to follow. I am clueless and still climbing. Goodness sakes. Now I got 24 miles of this, so I don't know how much higher I'm going, but let me tell you, buddy, it's cold. Yeah, it's cold out here. This is in the 40s right now, I'm sure of it. And I don't have insulation and layers and whatnot. I was uh, anticipating doing this during the daytime, not at night. Oops. Teeth aren't chattering yet, but I feel it coming on. And the, the stitch that I've got in my ribs is uh, coming back now because my core is starting to tense up like I'm about to start shivering and uh, it's gonna hurt even more. <laughs> Festival of pain. Here's a new variable. 8216, 8222, 8226. I, I could swear that I'm going kind of level or down, but the uh, altimeter here begs to differ. I am still climbing steadily. Still going up. 8233, 8235. Where's it gonna end? Ugh, it's getting cold, I'll tell you that. All right, save the battery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm tired. Holy fuck, I missed the ass of a buck by about three inches. I'm sure it came out on one of the cameras. I didn't have the chin camera going, but the 360 was running and uh, the dash cams were running. He was standing right in the middle of the road and I'm on the brakes and it looked like he was facing the other way for some reason. And then he darted this way. I'm glad I didn't shag right. I just held straight and got on the brakes. And he tore hoof, man, to get out of the way. <laughs> oh, shit. I could hear his hoofs go. Kuk, 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 kuk. He was clamoring to try to get some traction. <laughs> and I was, uh, I, I've been going about 40, 45, and I kept thinking, man, I need to slow down because I am going to find a deer on one of these corners. Boy, was I right. <laughs> man, if I'd have hit him, it, well, that would have been it. I would have been down. It would have folded up the front of the bike. He was a big boy. He was a 400 pounder, at least. I need to play that back on uh, camera and slow-mo that shit. Woo, boy, that was close. I mean, I missed him by inches. I, my right mirror probably just about went up his butt. Damn, there's an adrenaline moment. That's why I hate, hate doing these mountain roads at night the danger just goes up exponentially after dark because that's when all the critters come out and I'm cold and I'm trying to get to the end of this and I'm trying not to rush because I'm going to be part of the landscape if I'm not careful. Wow. Okay. Back on task. Focus. Focus. Don't lose focus. If I'd even blinked right then, I, I think that probably would have been over because I, I shed. Whoa! See, like this. God damn fucking no warning hard corner it's just no no uh no warning <laughs> jesus man this is a white knuckled terror ride i did not see the turn ahead sign maybe i'm just daydreaming already night dreaming whatever but yeah nothing and and then the the road stripes just disappear and oh guess what that's a wall you're gonna go off a cliff have fun Hope you brought your uh, emergency recovery chute. Son of a bitch, I hate this at night. Ah! My night vision is not good. I mean, I can see the road, but passably, barely. And of course, now I got somebody coming. I got to turn off my bright. Thank you for turning off yours. Hope that guy doesn't find that deer that I missed. Oh, 
this is pucker factor cranked up to about 11.5 right here and I've still got four and a half miles of this shit before I get to the next highway and I don't know what's in store for me after that I'm sure more of this Ugh. it's great in the daytime absolute treachery at night and it's cold out here man cold I turned off my altimeter to see what my arrival time is and I'm not gonna go dicking with it right now man I am not looking away from this road for a split second um, altitude has dropped maybe 500 feet I'm still up around 7,500 feet right now and it's chilly and there's deer oh dear I wish I had had my chin cam recording because it's probably got better low light than these other ones do. We're going to see. I mean, he was dead center in the headlight, so he's definitely going to show up on camera. You know I mean, danger close, danger close. He was right there. I, I could have reached out and swatted him on the ass as I went by. Thirty. Yeah, I'm kidding. You can't see through your headlights, dude. I really can now. My right eye, or left eye is dilated out. Ugh. Oh, downhill twisties in the fucking dark. Good luck. Quasi after dark is losing his mouth filter. This fucking blows, man. Yeah, fucking blows. I can't see shit. This headlight does not reach to the inner corner on the left. You can't see fuck all until you're on top of it. Right seems to be a little better, but left there's a huge dark spot over here. And as you're banking, the line just disappears like this. Where the fuck does the road go? And it's windy up here, so I can't stay on a line. It is not <laughs> fun out here tonight, kids. Not fun at all. God damn it. Can't see bumps until you're already on top of them. You can't see the corners until you're passing them. And if you had a line, it goes away when the wind decides, no, you're going somewhere else. See, like this. God damn it. The wind is pushing me to the outside, not letting me track the corner. Can't see because it's dark over here on the left. I'm going to have to lose this visor because it's dirty. Not helping my cause. Oh, this fucking blows. Why did my belt have to shred itself and put me out here at night? Yeah, I can't see, I can't see, I can't see, I can't see. I don't want to be a grease spot on the pavement. And I don't want to join this scenery permanently. I have to put up a quasi cross. It's not good. This is pretty steep downhill so I'm riding the brakes to not uh, overshoot wherever the road disappears to. This line has no contrast, it's washed out, there are no reflectors anywhere. There are guardrails that pop up in your periphery and occasionally a 25 mile an hour sign that says uh, if you go straight it's gonna hurt a lot. A lot. I'm being blown to the outside. A line that doesn't exist. Yeah, what, what is that? What is that? Can you see two lines? What is that? Of course, my eyes are bleached out from the sun all day. I'm riding the brakes, I don't want to overheat them, so I'm pulsating them. Because I can't tell where the next corner is coming. <laughs> Signage out here is uh, piss poor at best. The daytime is not a problem. Nighttime, this is cool. Okay, I'm gonna quit bitching and keep riding. Hopefully I make it to the other end of this. Oh my God. I need a fucking dose of Thorazine when I get done with this to come down off these adrenaline jitters. Oh, and the wind is just brutal. It's trying to push me off the road. All right, save the battery.
Christ, what a road. Signage, nothing. Fuck. 